Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines for September 21st. President Yoon suk yeol gave his first address to the United Nations General Assembly in New York on Tuesday, where he called on member states to stand together to defend freedom and peace. Mentioning the word freedom 21 times in the Korean version of his speech, President Yoon explained that genuine freedom and peace can be found when people live a full life free from disease, hunger, illiteracy, and free from want of energy and culture. He also reaffirmed South Korea's commitment to global efforts to achieve a more inclusive development by continuing with its official development assistance and the global collaborative initiative to counteract the COVID-19 pandemic. Health authorities are considering lifting the outdoor mask mandate for events with 50 or more attendants, such as concerts, rallies, and events at sports stadiums. The move comes as it is seen as unrealistic to check the exact number of attendants in outdoor events and since eating and drinking is allowed at sports stadiums. However, authorities remain cautious about scrapping the indoor mask obligation for young children, despite concerns that face masks negatively impact their emotional and language development. At least 11 people have died and 15 have gone missing in Myanmar after army helicopters opened fire at a school housed in a Buddhist monastery last Friday. This marks the highest number of children killed in attacks by the military government that seized power last February, ousting the elected government of Aung San Suu Kyi. The military explained that it carried out the shooting as insurgents were using the building to attack its forces. Finally, prices of kimchi's main ingredients have risen following the Chuseok holidays as Typhoon Hinamno caused major damage to crops. According to price trends compiled by the Korea Agro Fisheries and Food Trade Corporation, The wholesale price for 10 kilograms or three heads of cabbages as of yesterday jumped by 109% compared to a month earlier to 36,000 won. Radish and red pepper prices also rose by 31 and 24% respectively. The government plans to supply the market with 3,000 tons of additional cabbage in early October to help stabilize prices ahead of the kimchi making or kimjang season. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, we're going to speak with the deputy head of mission from the Embassy of Azerbaijan to Korea regarding the country's conflict with Armenia.